Extreme heat led to the deaths of nearly 600 people in British Columbia over just a few days last year. Annie Brown was one of them. It got so hot in her North Vancouver apartment that she collapsed. She couldn't walk down the stairs to go out to the street to go to a cooling center. The BC heat dome comes up often in a new Lancet report on the health effects of climate change. It pulls no punches, declaring that people's health is at the mercy of fossil fuels. And it says climate change is undermining every dimension of global health. People don't, don't remember because there's so many other implications of climate change, but um, there are so many impacts on health. Some of those effects, flooding like this in Pakistan last month, or this in Nigeria right now, brings waterborne diseases such as cholera. Rising temperatures bring malaria to more parts of Africa and ticks carrying Lyme disease to more of Canada. Calling really for a shift in our collective mindset to think about climate change, not just as an environmental issue, but as one of the most important public health threats that we're facing. There are knock-on health effects you might not even think of, like smoke from these northern Alberta fires drifting to a hospital operating room. It was so thick that we actually had to shut down the OR and check to see whether or not it was safe to proceed with surgery. Just this month, extreme drought in BC triggered unusual autumn wildfires, making Vancouver the third most polluted city on Earth. Now I think we're starting to see that it's impacting us, and therefore we're going to do something about it. The report says improvements in air quality alone could prevent up to 2 million deaths annually around the globe. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.